Hey, Dragonfly Swarm. Yelan's been out for around two weeks now, and I've had a lot of time to test out her most notable teams, many of which just involve using her as a half-hearted Singcho replacement, and don't get me wrong, she definitely can just be used as a bougie Singcho upgrade. But, 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 hear me out. Why do that when you can place her in two of the most insanely powerful teams in the game, both of which are quite free-to-play friendly? Well, okay, one of them requires that you have Jean and preferably Raiden, but beyond that, today I want to discuss and showcase two very fun and illegal strong teams that Yelan synergizes perfectly with so that you yourself can try them out and actually get great value out of Yelan as one of the strongest units in the game. I'm gonna introduce both teams, discuss their rotations, how and why they work so well, skim over the recommended builds, and showcase to you just how powerful they are in practice. So without further rambling, except me rambling and asking you to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video or it helps you in any way. <coughs> Let's start this showcase off with what I call the Yelan Fire Team. <laughs> Technically, you could call it Yelan Sunfire Overvape, but that's a lot of words, and I'm trying to keep this video under an hour long. Sunfire is a recently popular team in which Bennett and Jean work together to cause constant AoE pyro swirl explosions with their bursts. And then you throw in an electro unit and a hydro unit to add multiple other reactions, all of which are able to trigger what I'd basically call a shit storm of reactions that add up to huge team damage. The team typically looks like this because of the amazing synergy these characters have, but I've found that you can actually replace Syncho for Yelan, which turns this into a very high damage output team using Yelan's very high off-field damage, hydro application, and active character ramping damage buff. By swapping these two, you're exchanging the damage reduction, interruption resistance, and slight healing Syncho provides for an overall extremely high total team damage increase, especially when your electro unit is Raiden, and I'm gonna explain why. Yelan works amazing on this team because of the extra reactions she provides, the very high extra damage she allows the team's driver to deal, whether that driver is Raiden or in the case case official being the electro unit, Yelan herself, as well as her 4 element HP increase, granting her entire kit a generous damage buff just because of Sunfire's base team building style. And regarding my earlier point with Yelan's ability to straight up increase the damage that the team's driver deals, if you're running the team with Raiden, Raiden is your driver, because she's the one on field doing the attacks after everyone else's bursts have been activated. Therefore, Raiden will not only benefit from Bennett's flat attack buff, but also Yelan's very high damage ramping buff, allowing Raiden to deal, as you might imagine, STUPID damage. Damage. But what if you don't have or cannot use Raiden on this team? Well, Official is a great alternative to Raiden that still provides nice electro damage and throws electro reactions into the metaphorical bowl. Plus, Official generates a lot of energy for the team as well. But without Raiden as your driver, I recommend using Yelan herself, because even at C0, when Yelan is the driver, she's amplifying the damage of her own burst, which will provide a lot more overall damage value than if anyone else on the team was the driver taking advantage of Yelan's damage buff. And now that I've explained generally how and why Yelan on fireworks. Let's first talk a little bit about the general builds you'll want to shoot for with each character, then we'll go over the rotation guide. The star of this team is Yelan, and with Yelan, I pretty much exclusively recommend a four-piece Emblem of Severed Fate set because of the high emphasis on energy circulation within this team. Without a double element unit, even Raiden or Fischl's energy generation is sometimes not enough to fully cover this team's energy needs, especially in situations where your rotations aren't perfect, which is kind of inevitable. So four-piece Emblem on Yelan with at least 200% energy recharge will ensure she always has her burst up and that it always deals a lot of extra damage because of the 4-piece passive. You'll want, as I said, at least 200% energy recharge on Yelan with a decent crit ratio, I'd say at least 50 to 100. So keep those stats in mind when choosing what weapon to use on Yelan if you don't have Aqua Simulacra, and I'd highly recommend either Elegy for the End or Favonius Warbow, however you can definitely also make good use of Sack Bow, Recurve Bow, and other crit stat bows as well. For Bennett's build, you can genuinely do a lot of things, but I'm gonna recommend the 4-piece Noblesse Oblige set because of its team-wide attack buff, which everyone makes great use of except for Yelan, but that's okay, she'll be fine. With Bennett, you need to exclusively prioritize his energy recharge first, so build up to around 200% energy recharge and then fill the rest of his stats with HP. As for his weapon, I'm sure you already know this, but just slap the highest base attack weapon you can spare on him, it'll help greatly with his damage buff. As for Jean's build, you'll want a 4-piece Viridescent Venerer set so that she can shred pyro resistance while sun firing with Bennett. You want to grab a decent amount of energy recharge for her, I'd say around 160 60% to 190%, but save some of your stats for Elemental Mastery, because all of the swirls procced by the Sunfire interaction are based on Jean's Elemental Mastery, so it's important for the team damage that she has a lot of EM. For her weapons, I'd personally recommend Favonius Sword because of the extra energy needs it will cover for your team, as well as Jean herself, but you can also use weapons like Iron Sting for higher Sunfire damage or any other ER slash EM based swords. Alrighty, if you're running the team with Raiden, her build is exactly her regular build, just use 4-piece emblem and gather at least 
250% energy recharge whilst also building a good crit ratio. Also, be sure to use an attack goblet and energy recharge sands because of how her scaling works. For her weapons, use engulfing lightning if you have it, and if you don't have that, there are actually quite a few other polearm options for her that grant high damage, the most notable of which being Staff of Homa, Primordial Jade Wing Spear, Calamity Queller, R5 Wavebreaker's Fin, and R5 The Catch. Others do work, obviously, but generally these are her best. If you're running Fischl instead of Raiden, there are actually a lot of ways you can build her to best fit your playstyle within this team, so to keep it simple, I'm gonna recommend my build on Fischl, which is a two-piece Glads and two-piece Thundering Fury set with the Stringless Bow. I focused considerably into Fischl's attack and crit ratio for a satisfying damage output from Oz, and his single target damage capabilities are huge in this team, considering the many reactions Fischl interacts with to trigger her fourth ascension passive. You can use Stringless for extra damage on Fischl, or Favonius Warbow for even higher team energy circulation if you really want to feel comfortable, and obviously there are many other bow options to work with, those are just two of which that I recommend for this team. Now that we've discussed the best builds for each character on the team, it's time to finally look at the rotation and the full damage showcase. So to start, whether your team is using Raiden or Fischl as the Electro unit, the rotation is actually pretty similar, so we'll discuss both, starting with Raiden. In Yelunfire with Raiden, your best rotation is as follows. Start with Raiden's skill to begin generating lots of particles as well as buffing your entire team's burst damage. Then quickly swap to Yelan and use her skill, quickly followed by her burst so that she can catch the hydro particles from her skill while her burst animation is rolling. Swap to Bennett, try to sneak in a skill hit followed by his burst, and then swap to Jean, also try to sneak in a skill hit followed by her burst, then swap to Raiden and immediately burst and start swinging that booba sword around. You don't need to recast her skill until after her burst ends. The full rotation at normal speed looks like this. There is no To oblivion. Holy <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> oh, what the f <laughs> It's a lot of damage, and even Fischl's rotation is a formidable team comp that many low spenders and some free-to-play players should be able to tap into quite well. Fischl's rotation in Yelunfire is as follows. Cast Fischl's skill to start generating energy and reactions, then swap to Yelan to use her skill followed by her burst, then swap to Bennett, use his skill followed by his burst, then Jean and use her skill followed by her burst, and then swap back to Fischl only to use her burst, then swap to Yelan to start performing attacks and skills as the team's driver. That entire rotation looks like this in practice. By Royal Busted. Everybody stand! Wait, hear me! I'd argue that the damage output is only that much lower than Raiden's version because my Raiden is C3, so if she was C1 or C0, the damage disparity wouldn't be nearly as drastic. But the overall point is that Yelan's Sunfire Overbabe is a very powerful take on this team strategy, and she propels the team damage output by a very large margin as opposed to just using Singcho. The fact that even Fischl's team was able to chunk out about 75% of weekly Raiden's health in one single rotation is a huge testament, and I recommend this team to anyone going up against DPS checks in Spiral Abyss, large immobile enemies, enemies and bosses, or small crowds of large enemies. It's a great team, albeit a bit more expensive to build than the second team in this video, which as you might have guessed, I also gave a stupid name. National team has too many variants, and I'm bored of referring to everything as national team, so I introduce to you the double high pyro team. Cause it's like double hydro, double pyro. No, 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 that one was, that was not even stupid. That was a good one. Double high pyro is a team in which you pair Yilan, Singcho, Bennett, and Xiangling with the goal of creating a team somewhat similar to the national team where you focus on multiple high damage off field units that are being buffed by Bennett and by each other. In this team, we're replacing what would typically be an animal unit spot with Yilan for a very important reason. With Yilan on this team, it becomes possible for every single one of Bennett and Xiangling's attacks to be vaporized because of Yilan and Singcho's very heavy combined hydro application. This, on top of Yelan and Singcho's amazing synergy together, which you can learn more about with a video I'll link in the description, turns this team into possibly one of the strongest iterations of the national team. My recommended Yelan and Bennett builds will remain the same as their builds in the Sunfire team we just went over, however, for Singcho and Xiangling, I do have recommendations. For Singcho, any combination of DPS sets such as 2-piece Noblesse, 2-piece Heart of Depths, 4-piece Emblem, etc. all work well as his main purpose in this team is to apply a lot of Hydro and provide survivability, none of which requires him to conform 
conform to any specific build. I would highly recommend 4-piece emblem though, as it has a huge damage potential on him. For his weapon, the golden rule is to use Zack's sword on him, but you can definitely also run Favonius sword for extra team energy circulation, and if you have C6 Singchul with 4-piece emblem and a high energy recharge, Jade Cutter actually ends up being his best weapon in terms of damage output. Singchul's energy requirement will depend heavily on what artifacts and weapons you choose, but a good general rule of thumb is to shoot for around 200% energy recharge. As for Xiang Ling, while she does have many viable artifact sets, the most compatible and capable for this build is a 4-piece Emblem of Severed Fate set in which you focus heavily into energy recharge and crit ratios to allow her burst to deal as much consistent damage as possible. Shooting for at least 200% energy recharge and a minimum of a 60 to 120 crit ratio shouldn't be too difficult with the vast amount of resources at her disposal, as she makes great use of the free-to-play weapon The Catch, if you have no other options, but she also works amazing with Engulfing Lightning, Primordial Jade Wing Spear, Staff of Homa, and other stat sticks. Alrighty, the Double High Pyro team rotation is relatively similar to a traditional national team rotation, and it focuses on making sure that each rotation transitions smoothly into the next, so that there's very little downtime between each character's burst. I've had the most success with the following rotation. Start by tossing Xiangling's skill so the pyro energy begins circulating, and so Xiangling's attack buff will be ready by the time we bring her back to the field. Then swap to Yelan to do a quick skill to burst combo so that she can still catch her particles, then swap to Singcho and perform his skill, quickly followed by his burst, then swap to Bennett and use his burst, then his skill, swapping quickly to Xiangling and using her burst, all so that she catches Bennett's pyro particles. Make sure to pick up Xiangling's Guoba buff, and then after this, swap back and forth between Xiangling and Bennett, weaving normal attacks and Bennett's skill so that Yilan and Singcho's bursts are proccing, while also allowing Xiangling to keep catching Bennett's pyro particles. Then you just rinse and repeat, and you already know what's coming. The whole rotation into practice looks like this. In my line of work, combat skills are essential. Double High Pyro was also able to one phase weekly Raiden, chunking her from 100% to 0 HP in one single rotation. And it's important to keep in mind that three of these characters are not only 4 stars, but very easy to build 4 stars. And Yelan's presence in the team simply adds an entirely new el- Okay, well not like element as in like element, I mean like gameplay style. Yilan's presence adds the power of the full vaporized utilization for Bennett and Xiang Ling, as well as extremely high single target hydro damage with Singcho. Not to mention the team is just fun as hell to play. <laughs> I cannot lie. I also have to make a slight disclaimer that I'm not sure if my demonstrated rotation is the very best or the most optimal, I just know that it works to the extent that it allows all team members to buff one another with bursts and circulate enough energy to constantly repeat that rotation. But yeah, those are the two crazy cool Yilan teams that I wanted to showcase to you guys, and I chose these over her many other teams because they stood out to me as some of the most unique yet relatively accessible to a large part of the community. Not to mention they're both very very strong when played correctly. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way, please leave a like and consider subscribing and also consider joining my discord server so I can see you around and say hello to you from within my community. Alright, I'm gonna go contemplate pulling for Aqua Simulacra before Yelan's banner passes. Wish me luck, Shardy Base.